You're not the family member. You have nothing to do with my children. I agreed to film them and have them on MTV for a long time in their life, but um, it's over, it's done. Janelle Evans regained custody of her teenage son Jace earlier this year, ending a legal battle that had raged since the boy was an infant. I'm being called a piece of shit mom, horrible mother. The first one that ran after his to try to find him. Where's your emergency? <laughs> My husband, <laughs> the living arrangement didn't last long as Jace ran away from home three times in three weeks and was eventually returned to his grandmother, Barbara Evans. And all these comments are stemming from one person who was spreading it, if you know who I'm talking about. Jace claimed that his stepfather, David Eason, assaulted him. Janelle and David are now the subject of a CPS investigation that could cost them custody of their other children. David, on the other hand, is promoting his new career as a rapper, while his wife is attempting to generate interest in her own business ventures and promoting her only fans. Seriously? Janelle Evans is naive to her husband's misdeeds, putting their children in danger. Something that nobody wants to ever have to do. She supports her evil husband, David, who beats and kills innocent animals. Thus, their son is with CPS after running away so many times. I've also focused on a new business venture, and it actually is OnlyFans. This is the secret behavior of her life. We haven't talked about teen mom in a while, but Janelle Evans' situation is unstable, and these claims are disturbing if you don't know her. Her turbulent relationships and the birth of her first kid, Jace Evans, made her story stand out. She has had several spin-offs and a reality TV career since Teen Mom. We've included a flashback clip to show you how she was on the show. You act like it's my fault. When I told well, you at least six times, hey, leave. I leave can't do this. it. You should okay. be gone. Yeah, leave no. right in the hotel. And guess I'll what? The up. These people were messy because they had kids. After her son Jace ran away, Janelle found herself with David, who had gotten into problems before. They may face assault and neglect charges. Over a month, 14-year-old Jace has run away three times. The sites reported that law authorities will soon conclude an inquiry into the family after interviewing this 14-year-old youngster. Break it down, on Thursday, Janelle's husband, David, allegedly beat Jace, leaving scars on his arms and neck. In the hospital, Jason's tie informed multiple people what happened after being found. Several witnesses saw the alleged attack outside the property. The attack was likely caught on a homeowner's ring camera. Janelle was there and CPS and other authorities may have that film. Janelle was there but did not touch Jace. Other sources say Janelle and David were under CPS investigation before Jace went away Thursday. CPS has taken Jace from Janelle's care while the inquiry continues. This follows Janelle's court battle for custody of her son from her mother, Barbara, who cared for Jace throughout the episode. Because she was checked out, she was more like a parent than Janelle. In June, Janelle and Barbara were seen together, suggesting they were on good terms. They vacationed together. How did everything turn so horrible when everything was so good? Teen Mom 2 viewers may recall Janelle and Jay's story. Here goes. Janelle lost full guardianship of her firstborn to her mother, Barbara Evans, in 2017, but she regained it in 2023. It's astonishing that CPS has her child after she got custody. So please, stop badgering me. My kids are in my custody. For a long time, Jace has gone away, including three times in the previous month. He was also absent in August. Janelle said as a boy mom, kids can act up and rebel as most of us did when we were kids. Supposedly, Jay got in trouble at school for whatever reason and they took his phone away, so he ran off. He made it home safe that time, but then he was reported missing in September again. This time, Jay supposedly snuck out of a window in his home and left his phone behind. Number one, I want just want to point out. Yeah, I have court. I have court with CPS. I do number two. I want to point out the articles that are coming out about the court case are very outlandish, one-sided, and definitely all mean about me. Who was the only ones in the courtroom me, my mom CPs? That is it. Why wasn't David in there? Did he get kicked out? Nobody got kicked out. We are trying to keep this case as private as possible. Janelle is looking for someone to blame. 
and she actually shifts some of the blame onto her mother, saying that maybe her mother is the one who is the source of this information leaking it to the news. And she was quoted saying, just for insight, she has not tried speaking or visiting my kids. Since July, I'm so confused at this moment, and I wish I had one parent that was stable enough to talk to well. Janelle had her day in court with CPS, and supposedly David was removed from the courtroom. Janelle was stripped of her custody of Jason and is no longer allowed to see or speak to him unless the contact is initiated by Jace himself. David cannot remain in the room if JJ has any interaction because he is forbidden, will attend. David cannot be around Jace because he is under investigation for allegedly harming him last month, and they want him gone immediately. This report is because Jace notified the court about David's alleged assault on him and other child maltreatment. The detective requested documents and more. It appears that David's aggressive attitude and poor parenting are catching up to him as the inquiry into this assault on Jace and other alleged abuse continues. The court source said Jay won't see or talk to his mother. To avoid testifying with his mother, Jace begged the judge for a room. Janelle, which reminds me of psychology, where abusers can't relax because they feel like they'll punish them for what they say. Meanwhile, David speaking out about the incident on Instagram, telling fans to keep their opinions to themselves. Of course, he wants people to keep their opinions to themselves. That would be convenient, right? Especially, it's a throwback. But he has done some really nasty things, guys, like it's really hard to even go through them all. Because he's not only like harmful to his wife, but also animals in 2018 Janelle called the police because her husband supposedly cracked her collarbone. Where's your emergency, my husband? He just assaulted me and he pinned me down on the ground in the water. It's so hard to hear the pain and fear in her voice. Like she genuinely sounds so scared of this man. You should never be in a situation like that with a partner. And then my mind is like jumping place is like, okay, now that Jace is older and whatever, Maybe like this man, David's putting his attention on Jace and not Janelle as much as there's just people like these sick people like David, and they will go to great lengths to put. After their dog bit their youngest child, David shot and killed it. David Evans, Janelle Evans' ex-husband, admitted to killing her dog Nuggets in an exclusive conversation with us on Monday. David, who's been criticized for his fateful decision, explained why. Honestly, I'm not surprised that they're hanging out there rather than taking care of themselves and their family, but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, we need to send love to that kid, Jace, because I don't know what he's about to go through. A $46,406.70 North Carolina state tax lien for 2017 was sent to Janelle and David Eason in June 2020. In May 2019, David killed Janelle's dog nugget, which cost her her job on Teen Mom 2. In February 2018, he was kicked off the show for using homophobic words online. Cruz couldn't film at Janelle and David's house because he was there, which made it harder to make Janelle's stories. So yeah, is this what caused his financial problems? Share your thoughts in the comment below and see you in a new video. Bye, you guys.